sun began to set over the land of Egypt, casting a warm golden glow across the vast desert. The Hebrew people had been slaves in Egypt for many years, enduring hardship and suffering under the harsh rule of Pharaoh. But now, a glimmer of hope was on the horizon. Moses, impending plague that would strike Egypt if he did not release the Hebrews. Pharaoh had refused to listen, and so the time had come for the final and most devastating plague to be unleashed. As night fell, the Hebrew people gathered in their homes, following Moses' instructions to prepare for the Passover. They slaughtered a lamb without blemish, roasted it over a fire, and ate it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They painted the blood of the lamb on their doorposts as a sign to spare them from the angel of death that would pass through the land. As the clock struck midnight, a great cry went up from the land of Egypt as the firstborn in every household, from the palace of Pharaoh to the lowliest slave hut, fell dead. But the Hebrews, sheltered by the blood of the lamb, were spared from this terrible fate. Pharaoh, his heart finally softened by the devastation that had befallen his land, ordered the Hebrew people to leave Egypt. And so, under the cover of darkness, the Hebrews began their journey to freedom, carrying with them the memory of the first Passover, a night of sorrow and joy, of death and new life. And so, the first Passover became a sacred tradition, a time to remember the deliverance of the Hebrew people from bondage, and to give thanks for the mercy and protection of their God. And to this day, the story of the first Passover is retold and celebrated by the Jewish people, a testament to the enduring power of faith and the triumph of hope over despair.